Hello, I'm USA Weightlifting Senior International Coach Danny Camargo. In this video, we will walk first-time coaches and athletes through on what to expect at national weightlifting events. If you need to make changes to your body weight category or entry total, you have until verification of final entries meeting to do so. This meeting is held online two days before the competition begins. You can find a link to the meeting on the event page. Prior to the online verification meeting, you can email your changes to events at usaweightlifting.org. Changes will not be taken over the phone. After the verification meeting, the final event schedule will be published. It is critical you check the final schedule, as this will tell you exactly when you will weigh in, compete, and in which session. These times may be different from the initial schedule that's published after registration closes. No further changes will be accepted. Athletes must commit to their weight class. Failure to make weight will result in disqualification. The training hall, registration, and check scales open at 2 p.m. the day before the start of competition. Look for the who, what, where email from USA Weightlifting for everything you need to know about the event. Athlete check-in will remain open for the duration of the event and you may pick up your credentials at any point before your weigh-in. A representative from the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency will be on site to meet with athletes and coaches the evening before the start of competition. Attend this meeting if you have any questions about prohibited substances or USADA's post-competition testing process. A list of prohibited substances can be found at globaldro.com. The technical conference is held the evening prior to the first day of competition. This meeting is typically for technical officials, but coaches can attend to get their questions answered. Now it's competition day. Weigh-ins begin two hours prior to the start of your session and last for one hour. A photo ID is required for all athletes. You have one hour to make weight in your respective body weight category. For example, to lift in the 64 kilogram category, your body weight must be between 59.01 and 64.00. Athletes are called to weigh in based on lot number. If you are not present when your name is called, you'll be moved to the back of the line. All athletes may weigh in wearing a singlet, but athletes under the age of 17 must weigh in in a singlet. There's no weight allowance for the singlet, so you must fall inside the body weight category with the singlet on. You may wear jewelry and religious headgear, but you cannot weigh in wearing a watch or socks. At the weigh-in, you will also make your declarations for your first snatch and clean and jerk attempts. Remember the 20 kilo rule. Although you are free to declare any weight you want, you will need to make your openers within 20 kilograms of your declaration. Once you have made weight, you are officially in the competition. You will be issued your start or bib number, which is used to verify you are the correct lifter when called to the platform. The announcer will tell you which side of your singlet to attach your bib number. You will be given session passes at weigh-in for yourself and up to three coaches. These, together with a credential, will allow access to the warm-up area. Please note, if your coach does not pre-register for the competition, they will have to purchase a coach's pass at the registration desk. You will not be allowed into the warm-up area until about 20 minutes before the start of your session. At the start of the session, all athletes will be lined up by their start number and introduced on stage. After introductions, there will be a 10-minute clock before the first athlete is called to the platform. At a national event, there are probably a lot more technical officials than you're used to seeing. The technical official walking around the warm-up room is the technical controller, also known as the TC. The TC's job is to ensure athletes' costumes are legal and that the platform is in good condition. The two officials sitting at the table in the warm-up room are the marshals. The marshals table is where you will make your attempt declarations and changes to attempts. Declarations are the first request of load for each attempt, the first of which you made at weigh-ins. After a declaration is made, you have up to two changes. Athletes will need to be referred by start number and not name. A change will only be accepted once the card has the desired weight is initialed by the athlete or coach. Unlike a local meet, the cards on the marshal's table do not move. They are fixed in order of start number and are only used to notate attempts. At the national meets, coaches generally refer to the TV monitor next to the marshal's table while counting attempts. When an athlete's name is called and their bar is loaded with loaders off the platform, they're given either a one minute clock or a two minute clock, just like a local meet. The athlete or coach must declare their attempt before the first 30 seconds 
or the athlete must commit to the automatic load given to them by the meet. The athlete or coach must make their final change before the last 30 seconds of their clock. On a one minute clock, the requirement for declaration and final change is the same moment in time. If selected for anti-doping testing, a USADA chaperone will approach you. You will be asked to sign a form acknowledging that you have been selected for drug testing. Please refer to USADA Athlete Advantage for more information about the anti-doping process. A victory ceremony will be held following the A session of each weight category. So good luck at your first USA Weightlifting National event. If you have any questions, please ask a staff member or drop us a line at usaw at usaweightlifting.org.